Welcome once again to uh, our Paralegal Counselors Training and uh, we are still continuing with the Law of Telt and we are looking at the uh, category number four. Uh, this is Dr. Tulipo Monifumbo, your facilitator in this uh, course. So today we are looking at uh, an intentional uh, thoughts. So when you look at the in uh, intentional uh, thoughts, as we said, we have looked at the in, uh, intentional thoughts. We have also looked at uh, physical harm thoughts. We have looked at the uh, property thoughts. Now we want to conclude in this category, which is uh, an in intentional thoughts. So in the an in intentional thoughts, uh, we are talking about uh, uh, the damages or the harm that are done and intentionally. I know we may also put uh, accidents uh, uh, in the uh, uh, unintentional, uh, unintentional uh, thoughts. Yes, you know about that's why I said that uh, the the thoughts are very difficult to categorize. So you may find that, uh, like in the categories that I have uh, put, you'd find that other thoughts they have they can be found even in in the other category so we are talking about an uh, intentional uh, thoughts so on this one let's uh, look at uh, malicious uh, prosecution so here is a person that has uh, he feels you have offended that person and he has sued you he sues you for uh, something like uh, we were talking about uh, property tort. So you, you uh, this person is occupying uh, the 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 property which you feel he has offended you, and that property belongs to you, and you take a a, a lawsuit against that person. Then afterwards you lose the case. Now after losing the case, then this person. Uh, uh, this person sues you uh, back for the damages that you have caused or for malicious uh, prosecution and also for the uh, costs that he incurred in the uh, process of prosecution and also uh, what uh, the, uh, the law says that he incurred when he was coming to attend to that lawsuit and the businesses that he lost. So that that can be an intentional uh, an intentional or tort. Then the other uh, an intentional tort that uh, we can categorize it is negligence. Negligence is a person um, a person is reliable for harm that is the the uh, feasible uh, consequence of his or her action whereby your action has caused a harm. You do not in intend, you were just throwing the stone. So in throwing the stone, you break the window or you uh, you harm somebody. So you are supposed to uh, pay that consequence. Not only that, uh, any uh, negligence whereby it has caused any harm, that can also be uh, under the an intentional uh, tort, uh, negligence is defined the omission to do something which uh, a reasonable man would do, or doing something which a prudent uh, and reasonable man would not do. So when you talk about negligence, it can either mean uh, doing what you are not supposed to do, or uh, not doing what you are supposed to do. So that can be also you uh, be categorized in uh, the unintentional thoughts you are you find yourself maybe you are just uh, doing like uh, there there is this uh, uh, this thing you there is a machine that is broken and the owner has not uh, told you uh, to repair it then you maybe it has got a fault then you think of repairing it and you damage that uh, machine so 
that can be uh, categorized in uh, an intentional thought. So that person is going to claim, buy me a new machine uh, because you have destroyed the machine, my machine. So that can be an intentional thought. Or you you are using someone's thing, then it breaks down. Then that person claims that you have broken that thing. That can be an intentional uh, uh, thought. So in the in in improving for an intentional uh, uh, thought. So to be successful in the negligence lawsuit, uh, the plaintiff must prove that uh, the defendant owed a duty of care to the uh, to to the plaintiff, or you were uh, delegated to care for that uh, thing, or you had the you you were given charge over that particular machine or anything uh, that you that has been destroyed or that has been harmed. So the defendant breached this duty of care, and the plaintiff was suffered injury. You see, so you the in one way or another, the plaintiff has suffered injury uh, by you breaking his machine or you being given a responsibility and you did not do the responsibility as you are supposed to do. You can, it can be even in business whereby you are supposed to, uh, to strike a deal and then because of your negligence, you are, have not done that. So the defendant uh, negligence act was the actual cause of plentiful injury. So you have to prove that uh, the injury that has been caused, the loss and anything that has been caused, it is because of uh, the uh, defendant, the person that you are suing. So you have to also to prove that uh, the person that you are suing uh, because of the negligent act uh, in the proximity cause of the plentiful injuries. So each of the elements uh, should uh, give uh, grounds on why this person should be able to compensate you. So uh, we, uh, we, we, I, th I think we, we end here. We have looked at uh, uh, these uh, four categories. We have looked at uh, intentional thoughts. We have also looked at physical harm thoughts. We have looked at uh, property thoughts, and we have looked at uh, an intentional thoughts. Yes, uh, you know, the, uh, as I, s I always say that uh, uh, we cannot exhaust everything and especially that uh, where the duty of a paralegal counselor is just to guide people. You are not the one to stand in court. So you guide people what to do, how to do it, and where to go. So you work as a referral uh, person. So you, 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 you are able to have uh, the basic understanding on uh, these matters. Uh, thank you so much. We, we shall look now at the general defenses of the, uh, uh, the, the, the thoughts. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you for your time.